Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Super Nintendo Sundays. We are back with more A Link to the Past. Oops, hitting wrong buttons. I'm using a different controller this time, so I need to get used to it. This is the official Nintendo Switch. Super Nintendo controller. It is wonderful. If you don't have one, you should try to get one. For the longest time, I couldn't even find one, to be honest. So, now that I'm able to play with one, I feel like I'm really playing with power, if you know what I'm saying. So we're in the, uh, we're in the Desert Palace. This is the, oof, the second dungeon of three. Once again, I have little to no muscle memory for anything that I'm doing, so it's all going to just be kind of guess and check. It's kind of just how I roll, how I've been living most of my life, so... Hopefully you can appreciate me bumbling around. If you do appreciate that and you're having a good time, liking the video goes a long way to help out this channel. Subscribe for more content if you haven't. And then throw down a comment if you... <laughs> throw down... Toss a comment below. Alright, so we've got the map. Now that my buttons actually line up with the controller, I can hit the right thing. It doesn't mean I'm going to, but it does give me a little bit more likelihood of being successful. So we've gone from like 1% to 5% in button pressability. Pretty awesome. There's also a lot of things in here, in this dungeon in particular, that are shooting a lot of goo at us. Not really a huge fan of that. But this game in particular is a lot of fun. Hopefully you've been enjoying watching it. I enjoy playing it. It's one of my favorite Zelda games. Excuse you. Oddly enough, though, I don't think I ever really addressed this the first time around. I didn't play this game as a kid. I didn't have it. I think the first time... Is that it? There's nothing in here? Also, I love that I have the Book of Medora just kind of hanging out as my, uh... My auxiliary item. What is making that sound? I have no keys. No keys! But yeah, I didn't have this game growing up. Didn't own it. The first time I played it, I believe, was the... Game Boy Advance port? I think? Oop. The guy's got his tongue out like bleh. Okay, well. This dungeon is certainly fun. I've made zero progress besides getting the map, which for all intents and purposes, could probably be considered zero progress as well. So a ton of arrows though, so if you're ever short on those, coming here is a good place to get them, it appears. That was my first experience with it, and I remember when I bought the game, it was from like a uh, an EB Games or a GameStop, something like that. And I remember it came with one of those Prima guides, the walkthrough things. Man, I used to love those. Used to love, okay, there we go. Now, how do I access my, oh, nope, nope, stop. Uh, I forgot to, I forgot to do basically everything in this game. How do I do, nope. How do I do, there we go. <laughs> I forgot even how to use the Pegasus boots. This is gonna be quite the episode. But I used to really love those strategy guides. I'd go and, uh, I would used to sit in the store whenever I could sneak away from my parents, and I'd read the guide in the store, and it would greatly frustrate the people working there because, God forbid, a potential customer reads some of your product in the store. Sir, you have to pay for that. But I didn't care. I did it anyway. Because that's what you do when you're a child and you don't care about the rules. Or you're paralyzed by fear, so you just kind of do whatever anyway. So, one of the things, speaking of game guides, this is not related to Zelda in particular, but one of the things I used to really enjoy also, in terms of game guides specifically, were the ones that would be sometimes like a two-in-one game. Game guide, I believe the one that I bought, eventually. I think it actually might have come with the game itself. Oh great, two of the most useless items right away. Just getting those out of uh, out of the dungeon so we can focus on more important things. Is this a key? Nope, it's the boss key, so we at least have, or the big key. It's not Link's Awakening. But 
I think the game guide came with one side of it, which is very strange, I don't know why they did this, but one side of the guide, before you flipped it over, was a link to the past, and then the other side was Metroid Fusion, I think? If that sounds right, let me know. I do believe that that's a thing, and I do believe I still have it somewhere. Not that I know where it was, but it exists in the lore of my life. All right, let's see, is this the dungeon item? It is, it's the power glove. Oh yeah. I don't think lighting those up does anything. This dungeon's a little strange in the way that it's structured. It's not inherently difficult. I'm probably making it look way more difficult than it is. Not inherently difficult. Lots of money though. Not that we really need it yet. We will eventually. But uh, no, no, they're sucking on me. Stop. Okay. But I remember those game guys used to be a lot of fun. Huge fan of them when I was a child. I mean, that's one of the things that I do kind of miss. That's not really, game guides aren't really a thing anymore. You don't, and I'm not trying to like, go all old school and be like, well, back in my day, they used to blah, 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 blah. That's not, that's not what I'm getting at. But I did enjoy, I did enjoy reading through them when I could. Ooh, do I have an empty bottle? No, I don't. I have two. No. I have that B. I don't know, I feel like a B is okay, but... Oh, I do have another one. Oh, viewers, look! How do I... How do I... Great. So now that I have that, I can switch... Oh, viewers, look at this. Now when we die, we'll be instantly brought back to life. Now, unlike some other games where you have to actually have selected the fairy itself for it to be used. I believe this game does it automati automatically, which is nice. Also, this is one of the few dungeons where you can go outside and collect a heart piece. Doing so will get you another heart container, which is nice. Now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. My favorite number. And I do believe that you can't go... Can you just... <sighs> there are buzzards in my area and they are all over the place. They're good for the environment. Local ecosystems. So, there's that. They're, they're a little goofy looking. But, as underappreciated as they are, they are pretty important contributors to local ecosystems. So if you see one, be nice to it. Alright, did these be most... Okay. They definitely can. They can shoot through the blocks. I don't have a key. Is there a key in one of these pots? Oh, we probably get one if we avoid all the tiles. But yeah, well, like I was saying, in some of the other Zelda games in particular, I think like Link's Awakening is an example, um, they don't automatically heal you unless you have them selected as an item. What are these gonna do? It makes a little design on the floor. I don't know exactly what it's supposed to be. Looks kind of like a skull and crossbones a little bit. And there's probably a better way to do that, but I am taking the path of most resistance because that's how I like to play games, foolishly. Yeah, it looks kind of like a skull. Did we get any, is there a key? Oh, could have just ended this a lot sooner if I would have known that. Oops. Okay. So I think we are on the right track. These entry level dungeons Three to five years of experience are not meant to be super difficult. They can be a little tricky. The The design of this one's a little tricky. And the addition of Beemos being a new enemy can be a little threatening. Just like me, that's how people describe D-Mike when they see him in public. Like, you know what? He's not so bad, but he is a little threatening. No, that has never happened in my entire life. Probably will never happen. I do think it's a little strange that they give you keys right before you need to use them. That's a little weird. Okay. So I think this room with these tiles, which is such a cool mechanic. Look at this. It doesn't take forever. It's not super annoying having to wait it out. All right, so I guess we don't need to. I'm, <laughs> I'm really taking a ton of damage though. Let's get out of here. Holy smokes. That was not fun. Let's replenish our hearts. We've got one of these boys again. 
I mean, it's a lot easier to play in this game when the buttons actually line up. Okay. So if you remember, we can shoot these guys right in the eyeballs with our trusty bow and arrow. Just the arrows, actually. You're not really d shooting anybody's eyes with a bow. That'd be really tough to do. But we will light up these torches. And the wall removes itself. It's like, ooh, ooh, D-Mike, you're smelly. I don't want to be near you. Bye. All right, so I don't remember what the boss is. I'm gonna keep the bow out just because it seems like a good boss killing. Ooh, it's, ooh, wait, no, I don't. This is why we got the ice rod. Yeah. This is the Lan Mola, I think is what it's called. Oh, ooh. It can shoot rocks out when it surfaces with its gross head. This is gonna be a really tough fight. Also don't entirely know how to kill it or hurt it in any way. Okay. Well, it's a good thing I got that, uh, <laughs> good thing I got that, that safety fairy because this is going very poorly. Ooh. So I'm thinking because this dungeon took me less time than I expected it to. I guess that's kind of par for the course. It was really tough to hit them when multiple of them surface at once, shooting their dumb turd rocks at me. I might do a little bit of overworld once this one is done as well. Oh boy. Yeah, I really hope that that whole fairy thing I just spent a lot of time talking about was uh, accurate. Because if not, it's going to be really unfortunate. <laughs> so it looks like you have to hit them just on the tip with a nice spin attack with your long shaft of your sword. I also love having the uh, the low heart sound ruining the boss fight music. That's great. Also, these things take a bajillion hits. Holy smokes. Barely pop out of the ground sometimes, which is a little frustrating. I don't know if there's a good way to do this or if there's like a rhyme or reason to doing this. I mean, the reason is because we're being epic, but... I just want to hit one of them with the ice rod. Yeah! Boom! All right. Uh, I missed that one. Missed that one. Doing great. If you could just... Station yourself right where I'm going to be. Okay. When they only come out for a moment, it makes it a little tricky. There we go. Okay, well, that wasn't... That one wasn't really close to dying then. Just like I was. Holy smokes, that was close. Ooh. This is intense, guys. You feel it? Do you feel the, uh... The high? Ooh, what kind of... Got a two for double kill. Not quite, but almost. Okay. All right, so... That was all intentional. And as you can see, the safety fairy... Gets us back in the game. Hopefully we don't, <laughs> we don't need to just waste that. All right, so two of the three critters are down. The creepy caterpillars. That's three for three. And heart container, you are welcome viewers. And also the secondary prize. It is the pendant of uh, power. Woo! Isn't that great viewers? Okay. That is amazing. Get, get topped off? Feeling pretty good. Okay. So one of the things now that we can do, that we have all this cash money in this, oh, there's a fairy in there, I was not expecting that. Stay away from me. Basically, dodge all these shimmy shimmy yas. All right. Get out of this desert and skate. Stop it. Okay, so one of the things that we couldn't do earlier because we didn't have the power glove is lift these big stones. There was one in particular that was a little frustrating that was in our way. I actually don't know what this is. Ooh, it's another thief. Is this guy gonna give us something good or is he gonna steal from us? I don't remember, viewers. But there's a lot of money in these pots, and we will steal his, his pot money. Getting high off my own supply. Here we go. Check out the cave east of Lake Hylia. Strange and wonderful things living in it. Okay, so that guy gives us nothing. What a jerk. What's the point of talking to people if you can't take money from them? All right. So there are crows here. Cheryl crows. But yes, you can now lift stones that look like that. 
the dark ones with the... I always thought these this was the letter 8, but it might be like the, um, the Sheikah eyeball. I'm not entirely sure. You can't lift the dark ones, you can only lift the lighter ones for now. And nothing like this, so... Just something to be mindful of. I also don't 100% know where I'm going. Whoop. Okay, so... We're headed to Lake Hylia. To the Zora's Waterfall. That looks like a butthole. Anyway, moving on. How do we get to our map? No. No. Yes. Okay, great. Um... So, the Zora's Waterfall... I think... Let's look here. I'm just trying to remember, trying to get myself adjusted. Okay. I think we should actually want to go back home, maybe? I don't think this is the way to the... I don't think this is the way to the waterfall. Or maybe it is, I don't know. Let's look for a sign, literally. I try to avoid having crabs. I feel like we got stopped by something going this way last time. Can we kill these things with plants? Yes, the power of horticulture. And there's one very important thing that we're gonna try to obtain this episode if I can even remotely remember where it is. That in and of itself is an adventure. The thing you're going to want to try to acquire, which I don't believe is this way in the slightest, you're going to need 500 smack of runies. So make sure you have that. I don't know where this goes, but we're gonna do it. Another thief? I think that's just kind of consistent with these hidden rocks. How do they get in here, though? Do they have power gloves, too? Okay, so that's just a little bit of flavor text. Alright. Then I do believe that, because we're in the wrong spot, that if we do this, and then this, we can go back home? That's probably a faster way to start from our home. Yes. A little fast traveling. I know speedrunners will do this to get things going. And I want to say that the waterfall that we're headed for is in the uh, upper right side, maybe? We're going to try it. We got time, viewers, right? A little bit of time to... Adventure? What's the point of having a cool game if you can't adventure? I'll shoot people with your sweet bow. And a boop! <laughs> See ya, bye! Alright. So yes, you'll want to have 500 rupees. Okay, this looks right. They wouldn't have put this here. They didn't intend to try to gatekeep me out of it. Where are we going? Okay, so... This looks... Maybe promising? There's water here. Waterfalls typically have... Water? I think? Alright. Magic shop. Waterfall of wishing. Here we go. So that is... Exactly where we want to be, as I misled you the first time. Not again, viewers. Don't worry. I've got your backs and your fronts. Whatever you're into. Okay. So a good place to find your way is navigating to the potion shop. There's syrup. Syrup? How do you say... How do you say that word, viewers? Is it syrup? Syrup, like, yes sir, or is it syrup, like searing a steak? Also, saying it wrong. How do you say it, viewers? And we should be able to break these up. These are fun to... Kaboom! There it is. I'd love to read this sign, but I have this dancing booger in my way, unfortunately. No worries, we will just dance past it. More Octoroks in the way. I feel like we're getting dangerously close to this waterfall. Nice rushing water effect. Sounds exactly like water. Excellent job by the sound designers. Oops. From way back when. These are River Zora, by the way. Apparently they are not the same as the Zoras from like the Zora Kingdom. They are relatives or something like that. And you can stab them. But as you can see, I'm being very careful to walk in this shallower part of the water. You can't approach the darker shaded blue, either of the colors, the two blues that are not this. You can't touch them if you do. 
Link or D Mike will briefly drown, and you'll have to come back and do it again. So. <laughs> That's quite the sprite. That's a little scary, actually. Oh, come on. So there you go, case in point. All right, I got places to be. Let's speed this up a little bit. Whoop. Where's this gosh dang waterfall at? Oh, it's over there. You gotta stay to the lower path. Oh boy, I am not in friendly territory right now. Everybody's very upsetty spaghetti with me. Okay, wrong turn again. Looks like you have to take the lower, lower path. The lowest of the low. Even lower. <laughs> okay, so we are very directionally challenged today, as per usual. That's one thing that you should at least be comfortable with, viewers, is the fact that you're getting consistency. All right, here we go. Enjoy this special cutscene. Ho! Oh, that's a big boy. What do you want, little man? Do you have something to ask me? I just want the flippers. Or I just dropped a box. No, we want flippers. But I don't just give flippers away for free. I sell them for 500 rupees a pair. I don't know why this is the voice I gave it. Kind of sounds like Yosemite Sam. We will give the 500 rupees. And a bonus wit. Burn it with. Okay. So we're going to get flippers here. And we'll also be able to use these waterways. There's these occasional whirlpools that pop up. I don't think it's the ones that are these ones. Yeah, I think it's got to be the ones that are like already pre-programmed. But here we are. We are swimming like a bouse. Very nice. We can now explore this waterfall area a teeny bit. I want to get up there. How do I do that? I want to go up there. I want to steal your stuff. All right. Oh, I don't know if we can climb. Can we swim up waterfalls? No. Never? Impossible? Imposible? Can we do this? No? Okay. Okay. I feel like I actually should have stayed up there in the first place because I think I kind of screwed myself over. I, I We're going to collect that one piece of heart that you saw and that'll be the last thing we do for the day if I can ever get over to it again. Let's see. Where are you? It looked like it was consistent with this area. I don't know if I want to go down that way though. Hold on. Hold on, viewers. Can I go into this? No. Man, this is a lot of fun. Well, maybe that was the right way. Hold on. Let's give it a peek. This is, okay, maybe this doesn't look so bad. Alright. Okay, this looks good. This looks heart PC. There it is, viewers. Yes! Okay, so that's what we're going to hold off for the day. Thanks for watching, everybody. I have been D Mike. This has been, oof. This has been Super Nintendo Sundays, a link to the past, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.